Welcome back to the Dusty Ranch. We're not using the sawmill today, but we're getting to use some products from the sawmill. So join us as we put together this wall, the first part of this board and battened wall. I'm going to show you a little trick that I like to use with my speed square. And we're also going to have a special guest who gets really sassy when I start using the nail gun. So join us, we're gonna have a good time and start turning this hemlock into board and batten siding. So I'm using my tractor and forks here is the saw horse and this is not the trick that I'm going to share with you but I'm using my speed square to make a square and then I'm gang sawing these boards with my little echo uh, top handle saw that I use for tree trimming and that works really well it seems to go really quickly I can get a pretty straight cut with that. I want to put a little plug in for those CID forks i really like those things i bought those from a guy down in chesney a couple of months ago and uh, they're just really heavy built i've owned a couple of pair of forks before but those are those are just really nice i'll have to do a little video and show you the quality that they are here in the future and i'll put his contact information down in the video description so if you guys want to look into that if you're close by you can go check him out he he sells a lot of cid implements but here's our special guest this is clyde the mule he does not like the nail gun but that's good because he's being desensitized to loud sounds and that's what he needs at this age So I also want to point out this wall right here, what we're putting up new right here is the exact same wood, probably out of the same log as what's on the left right there. And you can see a very distinct line. That's actually just where the UV has turned, the UV light has turned the wood on the left there darker than the wood on the right. So I've done this over a several day period and it's interesting for me and I hope it's interesting for you to see how quickly the light actually changes the color of the wood there um, like I say about three days and that's what you get so I'm gonna give this time a, this uh, this wood a little bit of time to mellow out and then I will stain it all the same color I'm actually going with a little darker stain than I really wanted to do but it offers more UV protection and hopefully that means it'll give this wood more longevity. If you're enjoying the video so far, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, tap the thumbs up, maybe touch on that bell notification so that you know when we put out new videos. We appreciate you joining us and we'd like for you to be part of our community. actually a couple days after right here and I'm finally getting everything finished up and you can see that same distinct line there on the left but it's not quite as distinct as it was two days ago so at the time that I'm recording the voiceover and editing this video um, I could actually stain this stuff this weekend because it's all mellowed into the same color 
However, we have a hurricane coming in on the east coast and we're supposed to be trenchly downpoured upon both Friday and Saturday. So looks like we're gonna have to wait a little longer before we get it stained, but I will definitely share my stain choice with you guys and show you the process that I'm using to put that stain on. And here's my little echo top handle saw. I love this thing, you can manipulate it pretty easy. Uh, it's not the smallest one I have, but it's uh, definitely a handy tool when you're doing a little bit of chainsaw carpentry work, cutting out for my wood stove thimble right here. And it worked really well because that's all gonna be covered up with the thimble flashing anyway. So it's not a, uh, doesn't have to be precision carpentry work. Okay, so let me show you one of my favorite things about the speed square right here. Look at these little notches right here. These are your scribe tools. Now let's go over here to this board and see how that's gonna work on this four inch piece that we need right here on the end. Okay, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put my square on the edge of my board like such, and I'm gonna find the four inch mark that correlates right there. And then all I have to do is stick my carpenter pencil right there, hold and ride like such and you've got a mark on your board right there now i'm going to do that the length of the board and then i'm going to come back with my skill saw and cut my four inch piece off right here and that's going to be the last piece i have to put on this wall right here gonna do that I would have just simply made a mark here I made a mark at the end and took my chalk box and chalked the line this is bolder shows up better and I didn't have to go get my chalk box Thanks for hanging out with us here at the Dusty Ranch. Hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you learned something. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe drop a comment. Let us know what you'd like to learn later on. And as always, until we see you next time, keep it dusty.